There's a lot of NBA 2K25 gameplay updates that you need to know. You need to know what's going on because Mike Wayne is just dropping catastrophic bombs everywhere on how the gameplay is and how the gameplay is moving and what we're going to expect moving into NBA 2K25. In the video, I'm going to cover all these things, all the updated stuff that Mike Wayne, the gameplay director, has been talking about gameplay related. Make sure you watch the full video. At least six minutes of your day. Let's get to it. Also, if you want to know about the builder, guess what? They dropping the builder news tomorrow. Make sure you back here. And I'm going to cover the My Career and My Player build reveal. They're going to stream it live. I'll also be live on Twitch. Tune in to Twitch. You can watch it live, but it will be on the channel also. So make sure you sub. Let's get to it. This video is sponsored by YouGov. If you're looking for an app that allows you to share your opinions over a wide range of topics and get paid for it, YouGov is the perfect solution. YouGov is free to join and so easy to use to gain extra cash. As a member, you'll earn points for your actual opinions that matter by completing short surveys and polls. I do my surveys in between playing 2K and editing to get some extra gift cards for VC. YouGov is a great life hack and a side hustle. And you do enough, you can get all kind of free stuff. And it's real easy to use. All you do is go to this section and then fill out your survey. Or you can do a poll. It's very, very simple. Click my link in the bio and take survey to earn cash on YouGov. The link will be in the description. And shout out to YouGov for sponsoring the video. Let's get into what Mike Wayne got to say. So they said, what is the difference between new shot canceling feature and canceling step back shots in previous games. He says the main difference in this year is shot canceling in past versions is that you can break out at any point during the jump shot as long as it's before the player gathering with two hands. In the past, you were locked into the shot and to a specific point. Also, the new dribble engine handles the transitions dynamically, which looks and feels smoother than pre-scripted bridge animation we're using previous 2ks okay this is they got a new shot canceling feature where you can cancel the step backs cancel shots so that's a good thing that's a good thing let's keep going we got a lot to cover because i i ain't been in here so we, we got a lot to cover let's keep going someone asks which player do you control to learn in mini games he said there are three levels to each learn 2k mini game you can choose from a few players who are good fit at practicing you're automatically assigned players from level one such as De'Aaron Fox for the dribble speed run. Once you get two stars, you unlock level two and two more players to choose from. There are, then there are two players that unlock level three who are historic players. Okay. So they got like a little simulation thing going on where you can basically run around and do the mini games and stuff. And you can practice. This is cool. I like the little mini game thing they added. Learn 2K is a W to me. All right, let's keep going. They say, has any improvement been made to the physics when two people clash in the air? Mike Wayne said the physics team spent a lot of time improving our in-player air collision to make them more reliable and maintain the player's momentum velocity better. Great, man. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it rolling. They said, can you go into a little deeper on the bounce alley-oops? What does contextual mean? Mike Wayne says some players were getting bounce alleys by accident. So in NBA 2K25, bounce alleys happen organically. And when you tap Y triangle and the lane clearly is wide open, the players are around. Another reason we made bounce alley contextual was to free up cross circle AB button combos for self alley oops, which we're getting some people by accident. Facts. There'd be many times where I'd be trying to throw a lob and I accidentally throw a self lob. So look like they're gonna try to separate that, which is good because you know that that sucks in that moment. It makes you look like a literal ball hog. And although I am a ball hog, I wasn't trying to be that in that moment. Let's keep going. They said, man, what shot time and profile closest to shooting works in 2K24? He said the shooter model from 20 is pretty much different from last year. So it's pretty hard to compare. If I had to pick, I had to say 2K24 is somewhere between this year's normal and high profiles. Okay. So basically throw everything you know about 24 shooting out the window when you come to 25. So this means y'all gonna be broke, y'all gonna be missing your shots, selling your teammates, one for eight, one for seven, 0 for nine, you know, breaking controllers, raging. People gonna be raging on stream because they don't know what profile to put on. Make sure you're here for the best jumpers because I already foresee this is gonna be an issue for a lot of people on day one. Y'all ain't gonna know what settings to put it on. Basically what I've seen though, you put it on low, look like you cool. You're gonna hear whites. But you're going to, I'm just curious what the meta is going to end up being, what everybody's going to end up doing. Cause you know, everybody's like sheep, you know, they're going to follow the meta. So whatever the meta is, that's what everybody's going to do. Let's keep it rolling though. 
Somebody asked him, man, do the layup and dunk meters have the same animations as the new jump shot meters? He said, yes, they do. So that little thing that pops up that says, like, excellent and all that, next to your player, that's going to pop up on the layups, too. I already know layups got nerfed. And I like my layups. I was a layup guy last year. I was spamming layups, Euro floaters, all that, and I guarantee it got packed up. Normally, something like that, where it's dominant the year before, and people complain about it, it gets packed up. They already took away whistle, and I was a cheeser whistle. I used to love cheesing whistle. I used to go in there, hit them with the Euro pump fade. They all jump in the air, and I hook you, you, take it right back up every time. Had them boys shook. What are the changes that have been made to post defense? Well, post fades and hooks are now a different set of contest logic than normal shot. The new logic better simulates how shooting out the post is in real life and puts more the make versus miss on the shooter's ability to time an inherit more difficult shot. Defender will still get a hand up or jump to contest and make it tougher for the shooter, though. See, hopefully, post scores ain't overpowered. You know that when when post scores are overpowered, it's it's a bad 2K, because well I ain't gonna say that, but it's a bad time because what you have to do, you gotta sit here and guard these cheese post scores, and cheese post. I'm telling you, there's nothing harder to stop than a cheese post score that nobody you literally can't do nothing. <laughs> you literally can't do nothing. You you're just sitting there watching it happen. You're literally watching it happen, and it's one of the worst things to be a part of. It's almost it's worse than getting cooked. I'd rather get cooked by a dribble than to get posted to death. Getting posted to death, you're helpless. Cook is kind of your fault a little bit because you can kind of try to dictate and predict where they're going. Post, if you ain't got like a rim protected build, you're doomed. So we're going to see how the post game where We need more gameplay though. How will hot zones affect shooting? Hot, hot zones will give you a small boost to your shooting ratings. Of course, this is this has been the case in every 2K. I don't even know why you asked that. Of course, it's going to boost your shooting. Like, like, what? When has it not? Oh, you need post control attributes to score in the post. You do not need post control for post phase. Post control is more for your post moves. Post phase success is driven by your shot ratings, close and mid, and badges. Ah, so the post phase phenom, if it's still in the game, seems to be influenced by close shot and mid range. Hmm, they gon' they changed it. See, I don't know if y'all caught that. They changed it, it looks like. So now, if you got a 98 mini, you're going to automatically have a high post fade phenom if that's still in the game. I'm assuming it's in the game. If it ain't, because he said close shot mid and badges. So post fade success. So if you if you a guard and got high midi, you can be able to hit the post phase, it looks like. That's what it looks like. They said, is there any penalty for playing off ball defense? He says there's no explicit penalty for playing off-ball defense, but there are definite advantages to managing controlling the on-ball defender. Yeah, look at y'all trying to cheese off-ball. Look at this cheese. Why y'all always trying to play off-ball? That's why I don't play online no more. All it is is me going against the AI while them kind of spotting. I get by the AI, they come in and help a little bit. Just enough, and then they go back to their player. It, it was driving me insane. I do it too, though. User controlled defenders get a slight boost to their contest scores compared to AI control teammates. So did they nerf the AI? That's what I wanted. Nerf them AIs. Them AIs are too good. I right, don't make them. Th they they gonna be on the tier of college football's AIs. Watch. Also, users can take advantage of the new defensive cutoff mechanism to get more jam ups and fumbles. Fumbles is an interesting word against the ball handler. AI teammates also have perception delays. So based on their ratings, they may not be reactive and give up driving lanes more than a solid user controlled defender would. So it looked like they toned them down. We're going to see because them AIs was clamp guys. They was clamp guys and they was money. Instant money. You hit them, they cash. So we're going to have to see, is that really true? They said, are there any new post moves? That's a bunch of new ones added, of course. On the course, it says over 9,000 animation. Anarchy tells more. We've had over 9,000 new pro play animation, bringing the total around 1,400. From the main gameplay category, there are 1,500 dribble sequences, 1,100 shots, 1,300 motion sequences, 800 rebounds, 1,000 passes, 434 dunks, 550 blocks, 11, 11, 11, 11 layups. They're new to 2K25. So. What the hell? 
I see here here the thing though. The, you see these numbers, but that don't mean we can use them all. That that's like they're in the game, but that don't mean they're accessible to our mob players. We're not gonna have eleven 1, hundred layups to choose from. It, it ain't gonna be that we just scrolling for about ten minutes on layups. I already know what it is. It's just added to the game, to the to the individual NBA players. It ain't. I don't think we have access to all this stuff with the mob player build. So remember this. We're not gonna have eight hundred rebound animations for our players or let me let me rephrase it we ain't gonna have 434 dunks to put on the player we'll have a set amount most likely that would be unlocked through seasons probably have scoopers been retuned um they better not have quick scoop layers got a small look at this y'all y'all ah come on dog come on man quit touching my layups man i'm just talking to low key Lay up my night, it, like dunks my. I don't really know the dynamics of the game, but I'm just assuming it's like last year, cause that's what y'all say anyway. Same game, but I don't want to see that. Don't touch my layups. Scoop layup got a small nerf to balance the risk versus reward using those type. Looks like I ain't losing them no more. If they nerfed it, I ain't using it no more. All right, I'm back to dunking. Can you step jab into the dunk meter? You can no longer perform jabs up when standing under the basket. You'll get a pump face now. Huh? They yeah, I was doing that. Okay. What's the default shot? Uh, what is the default shot timing profile? Well, the default one is difficulty based, which automatically maps rookie through pro to low, all star and superstar to medium, Hall of Fame to high. Okay. Whoa, Hall of Fame to high? Okay, look like we're going to be on pro low. Pro low. Any changes to the passing mechanisms? There are a number of improvements to passing the road, but the most noticeable is improved live passes. The target lives are just so much better in 25. And it's really great advanced pass of leading the receiver to the basket over a trailing defender. Controlling wise, balance pass are now triggered contextually and self alleys have been removed. Oh, have been moved to circle and A, A, B. I guess he has an Xbox. Interesting. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, man. Leave a like, sub if you knew. I'm just giving y'all updates of the gameplay. The new gameplay stuff in case you wanted to know what was going on man a lot of y'all want to know what was going on with the gameplay i was like yo yo update us you know a lot of y'all don't follow the youtube some of y'all only watch me for 2k so i gotta get y'all hip get you hip let me know how you feel about all these gameplay changes what was your favorite thing in the video until next video i'll see y'all there man peace